Hello everyone! Welcome to another tutorial. Today instead of photo editing we're going to look at a video effect. One of my favorite setup or transition effects. Maybe from it being used as the opening for one of my favorite movies. Casablanca. So we're going to do the trace path on a map effect using Apple Motion. So let's hop on over to the computer. Pull up motion. We're going to do a New project will take a, about 10 seconds. Motion project 1080 at 24 frames per second should be fine. Whatever you're going to be using in your own timeline. So we'll start this out grabbing a map from just a screenshot from Google Maps. You could use anything for this. You could use a cartoon map, a screenshot like this, pretty much anything. So we drag the map into motion. We've got a group here with the map in it. I'm going to go over to the inspector. We'll scale the map up a little bit so that we can see where we are. And this is going to be just tracing a drive from where I used to live a long time ago to what used to be one of my favorite camera shops. We have this group. Inside the group we zoomed in to where we wanted to be on the map, maybe a little below 100. Now to move this around, instead of using the position, first off we want to move the entire group because we'll draw our line on there and we can move around moving the line with it. So I'm actually going to move the anchor point instead of the map itself. That way if we want to rotate the map we can do that at any time. So now let's grab the line tool. We will start here, draw the path that we're going to be taking. Here and into the parking lot. Set that, go over to our inspector, shape, turn the fill off, and we'll make this a red line, I guess, whatever. So now we have this red line tracing our path. So to animate that, Let's go here. I'm going to clean this up just a touch. There we go. Now to get the build effect, we'll go a couple of frames in with the Bezier selected, go over to shape, and we're going to set this last point offset all the way down to zero and keyframe that. Go to just before the end of our clip and extend it out to 100%. So last point offset back up to 100%. So now as we play through, we will see that line build. And then on our map, let's just take a couple of points. So we'll grab the group. Here's why we're moving the group around because it'll move the line with it. So if we go to the beginning, we'll kind of center up on where we're starting. Look right there. Set an anchor point keyframe here, then just drag through. Set another keyframe there. Go up. And just drag back to here. Um, 
and center that up again with this keyframe. Move on down to about the end. Then we'll move over again. Line that guy up. Set it to keep. So we'll keyframe that, delete these center points. Then let it finish. If we wanted to move that over a little bit further, we can do that. Center it up. Now, as we play it through, we have the line go through and the map animate around it. If you wanted to, you could also rotate. That's why we're moving the anchor point. But for this map, we'll just let it move through. If you want it to look like Casablanca or the Indiana Jones movies, you could mask in some clips over the map so that you're watching the trip, maybe a dash cam video, something like that. Hope this is helpful. Again, it's an effect I love for travel, travel videos, setting the scene for things, whatever you wanted to do around that. If you found this helpful, please take a minute to smash that like button. If you like these kind of tutorials, please consider subscribing. Thanks and we'll see you soon.